3x plus 2y equals 4 and 3x minus 2y equals 20. Each one of these is a linear equations in two variables. And can you guess what they'll be called together? Yes, a pair of linear equations in two variables or a system of linear equations in two variables. Note that both equations have the same two variables x and y. a plus 2b equals 4 and 3x minus 2y equals 20 will not form a system of linear equations in two variables as the two variables in each equation are not the same. Now let me ask you an interesting question. Can this pair of linear equations have a solution? We know that each equation here will have many solutions individually. But do both of these together have a solution? The answer is yes. And what's the logical way to look at it? Easy. Equation 1 will have many solutions for x and y. Equation 2 as well will have many solutions for x and y. The solution which is common to both will be the solution for this pair of linear equations. Here, the solution will be x equals 6 and y equals negative 1. You will notice that this set of values will satisfy both these equations. So how would we write the general form of a pair of linear equations in two variables? Well, the first equation can be written as a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals 0. And the second one can be written as a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals 0. This will be the general form of a pair of linear equations in two variables. And what about the conditions? The first condition would state that all these constants are real numbers. And there would be two more conditions. a1 squared plus b1 squared will not be equal to 0. And a2 squared plus b2 squared will also not be equal to 0. It's because in each equation, both these coefficients cannot be 0 together. At least one has to be a non-zero. Okay, now we come to the most important question of this topic. What do linear equations look like geometrically and how can they be plotted on a graph? All the answers in the coming videos.